guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. And we are back, Calvin, with what? Logan! With Logan. Um, this is a movie that was voted over at patreon.com slash blindwave on the list of stuff Rick hasn't seen. Yep. Rick, you haven't seen Logan? Nope. What's your experience with the uh, Fox <laughs> X-Men movies? Uh, I've seen X1, X2, mm-hmm. First Class. That's it? That is it. Ooh. Well, luckily, a movie like this, you don't need to have seen uh, all of them, and I think that we can all talk about their various qualities, mm-hmm. but there is a lot of them, um, but this is one that I think I... Uh, I've seen Wolverine Origins. Or, oh, of course you have. Yeah. Of course you have. Yeah. Honestly, I knew that. I didn't even have to have you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to be checking out this movie, uh, Last of a Dying Breed, which is Fox Marvel movies. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's gone now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would say that... Uh, we, we'll talk about it towards the end, but this one is up there for me in terms of the list of those movies. Indeed. Um, Calvin, you and I have seen this movie. Indeed. Uh, in theaters. Yeah. And I have you. I personally haven't seen it since. I haven't either. Which it's, is, it's a really great movie. It's great. I've only seen scenes from it, though. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be checking this out. We're not doing, unfortunately, the black and white version. I contemplated mm-hmm. it for a second. Yeah. They did release a black and white version of this movie. Sounds good. And it does sound kind of cool, but we're not going to do that today. Okay. Maybe uh, maybe in the far future when we forget everything, we'll do it again. <laughs> <And> compare. <laughs> when we haven't watched it since yeah. this reaction. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to be uh, having a great time tonight checking out Logan. And you can too, both with the highlight that's going to be coming up right now and down the pinned comment and the description is a link to our full-length reaction where you can sync up on Disney. We're watching this on Disney+, Plus, mm-hmm. but you can sync up, watch the entire movie along with us, and have a good time. Now, I'm afraid to start because I do not want Calvin to hit the button. Rick, ah! Yeah? You know, this is the least. No one's going to pay to ride. Take them out. The chrome. Get that ball! Oh fuck, I love that. Went across the. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh god. This is radar, by the way. Yep. Painkillers. You know, I know what you're hiding in me, yo. The old cue ball south of the border. What do you want? A little cooperation. That must be cue ball. There might be another cue ball. <laughs> make way, sir. I said, make way! The new Kizalupa from Jacko Bells. Get it with chicken, get it with steak, but with the cheese baked right in the shell, it's the next big. I feel bad laughing because it's sad, but he's very funny. What are you doing to me? Charles. <laughs> Come on, man. <Adam. laughs> see that being a very dangerous person. To... One of the most dangerous people ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having losing control of their mind. Yeah. Oh, why isn't Aaron here? I know. <laughs> I wonder that guy looks stressed. Yeah, right? <laughs> Rough night indeed. What did you do? Answer me! Why are we here? No one should live like this. Drugs in a fucking tank. For your own good. No, no. It's not. 
You're waiting for me to die. <sighs> it's a reason I had to rewatch this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Found this in your pocket. Adamantium. If you are planning to blow your brains out, could you wait till you're out on the high seas? I just mop these floors. I don't need this shit. <laughs> I hear you at night, you're not sleeping. You don't want to talk about that. Or the booze you're drinking. Or the pus you're wiping away from your knuckles. Or the blood I wash from your clothes. Or the fresh wounds in your chest. The ones that aren't healing. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to talk about the fact that you can't read the label on that bottle. It says ibuprofen. That was my favorite mug. <laughs> <laughs> sightings were posted. Laura, what, go inside. What sightings? People said someone looked like the Wolverine was in El Paso driving. Said he looked old. And she has cash. I've seen it. She gets your fat ass back in your office. She'll get your money. <laughs> Where'd you get this? My boyfriend. He wants to kill me and take her. That's your daughter? Yes. That's a lie. We're gonna drive down to Yalapa, we're gonna get ourselves a boat, and we're gonna go live on the ocean. Will you be safe there? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be safe. I like the Charles is raising yeah. little plants, like he can't help but help little youngsters out. He's yeah. a nurturer. He's a nurturer. Who's that? But you were supposed to see shit coming. I can track mutants. I'm a glorified truffle pig, not a clairvoyant. Go inside. Keep Charles quiet. Go inside <laughs> now. Glorified truffle pig. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> see, you're not the only one that's been enhanced. No. Ah! Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Good shot. It's a gauge of 47 from him, man. Yeah. He's seeking suitcase. Oh, yeah. Take the gun. Dump the body. Text me when you're on the way back. Yeah, there's anything else you need. Do for the kid. Well, shit. It's okay. Sit down. We gotta go. What? What's going on? Stay here. Where? Don't move. Where are we going? He will be back for you. Dude, Patrick Stewart is killing it in this movie. He's never shown that before, the side of Xavier. Well, I left him the same ditch he was going to leave me in. These guys are professionals. Brock Lesnar's cousin right here. Look <laughs> at <laughs> <laughs> those cuffs. Yeah. Got a cybernetic arm. Auto mail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> it's so good. No, they found the janitor's daughter. <clears throat> Laura? Laura. No. No. Move! Go! Yeah. 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 Yes. And the ability to use them. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how good that power can be. <laughs> when it's working. <laughs> Oh, that 
so good. Come on, hold her down. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> Cycles are nine for a good time. Oh, red! <laughs> like a razor wire. Uh huh. It's great. It's very nice. I'm trying to get in front of a train. I feel like it's never felt more real. Hey. I ask you a question. Yes. Who are you? Look at it. You know who she is, Robin? No, I don't. Does she remind you of anybody? <laughs> <sighs> what I am about to show you is illegal in the U.S. and Canada. These children were born in Transigen. They were born here and have never left. They have never seen the sun or the ocean. It's kind of like Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. They were raised in the bellies of Mexican girls. Girls no one can find anymore. They are making soldiers. Killers. Come on. That's enough. These two. Jesus. Not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kick him. <laughs> you sell phone charges? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Cigars. laughs> I've never seen cigars up on a counter before. Yeah. Texas. <laughs> You're right. I've never been to Texas. <laughs> I read about a place up north, a place for mutants. They call it Eden. Gabriella was such a strong, good person. Just doing what she can. You read these in your spare time? Oh yeah, Charles, we got ourselves an X-Men fan. You do know they're all bullshit, right? I mean, maybe a quarter of it happened, and not like this. In the real world, people die, and no self-promoting asshole in a fucking leotard Logan. can stop it. This is ice cream for bedwetters. Logan. Your nurse has been feeding you some grade eight bullshit. I don't think Laura needs reminding of life's impermanence. Yeah. <laughs> you say something. I'll have her freshly painted for you. New tires, mounted, balanced, and complete paperwork. I'll give you ten as is if you can forget the paperwork. Well, you still need new tires, man. They're bald. Right. How long will that take? Hour. I love that look. Yeah. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Such an interesting thing. Wolverine wearing glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This doesn't make sense. Reading a comic about himself. Yeah. People can't breathe. They're yeah. all dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. 
I mean, they were 14 floors up. Yeah. Oh, people did very well. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah, like all the vehicle accidents, you probably have some dead people. Yeah. Where at least 400 guests were stricken with temporary paralysis yesterday. Many are noting a similarity to the Westchester incident over a year ago that left over 600 injured and took the lives of seven mutants, including several at the end. Knock it off. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fucking auto trucks. This is what Elon wants for everyone. Chaos on Mars. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck! truck. Go play <laughs> Okie Dickhead somewhere else. And you're gonna start walking away. I got rights to this one. One. I have a lawyer now. Two. Two. Three. Uh, uh. Right, <laughs> Jesus. That's not a man you want to mess with. No. Yeah. Break a rifle over his knee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Logan. This was without a doubt. The most perfect night I've had in a very long time. But I don't deserve it. I've remembered what happened in Westchester. I think I finally understand you. Logan. I'm the law out here. No, 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 no. What in hell? Prime. <laughs> we need to intervene. Well, he only listens to you, Doc. They're dying quick. So much death. Where the light. Hard. Yeah, it does. Uh. Again, there's a reason I haven't rewatched this. <laughs> I'm going through it again now.
the war. So that's a good choice to show this from her point of view. <laughs> she did get him to the clinic. Um, yep. Let's just. I love how she had a booster seat. <laughs> yeah, she did have a booster seat <laughs> through away. I don't know how you got me here, but uh, thank you. Hey. You can talk. You can talk. Fuck. <laughs> No confirmed it. You are dying. You want to die. Charles told me. What else did you tell him? Do not let you. <laughs> Kids made it, Rick. Yep. I'd be so mad if I woke up and kids are going into my beard. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, look at them all. all right. I love that. <laughs> Not much to do at the fire station. Yeah. But they do have access to comic books. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Blind spot matters. Yeah. He forgot the note. <laughs> I don't know. The one girl gave him a tough time. All those kids might be too much for him. You know what you gotta do, man. You gotta be the Wolverine. <laughs> Uh, you can get a new one. Yeah, most of those guys have. <laughs> Winters. Jeez. Dude, she turned him to a porcupine. Oh! Oh. <laughs> it's like a Yeti. <laughs> James, you can't. Oh, got rice. <sighs> You'll know when. <laughs> oh, good job, kid. Nice. Showtime, boy. The one guy that can control him. Boy. He did that, yeah. Got that adamantium bullet, little girl. Laura! 
I mean, she's good. Yeah. Only is that good. But I believe it too. <laughs> that foot, man. It's so effective. Ugh. She is fucking him up. Oh. <laughs> that here. We could use your help over here too. Yeah, they should summon Captain Plant. You run up home to your mother. You tell her everything. Turn the cross. We get next. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta move. It's got water. That was my idea, or if I just remembered it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, fuck up, Eric. I, I, was, yeah, I forgot. I forgot so much of this movie. Yeah, I was so traumatized by Charles' death that. So there's a reason you haven't watched it again. Yeah, <laughs> I think my face matches the background half the half the <laughs> movie. Because I'm, yeah, so, I think from here, I'm I was, so stressed. I was invisible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a hell of a movie. No, it's not your normal superhero movie. No, That's it's not. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not like other X Men movies. Absolutely, or or Wolverine movies. Or <laughs> what? Uh, what'd you think, Rick? <sighs> no, it was really good. Um, it it's up there. I think all my superhero movies. Mm. Um, Do you think part of that is it's kind of like standalone nature? Standalone, it's darker. Yeah. Um, Rated R. Yeah, it just it tells a different story in a superhero universe. Yeah. Like this story has been told tons of times in film. A in, ton of times. Yeah. yeah. And um, video games, but it's nice to see a superhero twist with characters that you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't read a lot of X Men, but like X Men have been part of my life. Since I was a kid. Forever. Yeah, yeah. forever. So, yeah. like, these characters, I feel so close to them. Yeah. Even if it not necessarily be a version of the characters. True. Because okay. this, is this connected to the X-Men films? Extremely loosely. Okay. Uh, yes and no. Like, J uh, the director, he had, like, two main goals. One, he didn't want you to have to feel like you had to. But if you did, it's obviously going to enhance. Yeah. But two, he, he straight up said, like, this needs to be rated R. You know, after the successful success of Deadpool, this was 2017, by the way, which feels both far away and close. You know. Yeah. But anyway, like he said, like the important thing was I needed to get the studio to understand I'm making this art not for gore, not for all that. That that's going to be in there, yes. But I need to be able to not have to think about ways to appeal to all the whole family. The yeah. Pop, and children can enjoy it too. He's like, that's not why. That's not the story I want to tell. Sure. Now, Wolverine like, is. Brutal. It is, but this is, you know, <clears throat> the adage of a comedy that goes on too long eventually becomes a tragedy. It's the same thing with a superhero story. Like yeah. Eventually they will lose. Yeah. And this is the story that happens after he loses. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. Yeah. But, uh, 
Yeah, I, I agree, Rick. Like you, you love these characters from your entire life, but a movie like this can show you new sides of them. My favorite new side is angry Charles Savior, who is bitter and uh, sad and and obviously broken. Yeah, and mm-hmm. killed the X Men. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to watch. Yeah. <sighs> now some really great performances in this. Like I think, um, like especially Logan Professor X. Yeah. The little girl. Oh yeah. Did a great uh, I job. I think her name is Daphne Keen. Is I think that's her. In the beginning, it said and introducing Daphne Keen, and usually you do that for a young performer who's first time on screen. Debut. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, what a debut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell of a thing. <laughs> yeah. In fact, the the director was so impressed with her stunt double that mm-hmm. she even has like a, she's one of the kids in the woods too. Really? Because that stunt double, yeah, went hard. <laughs> they tried to achieve as much as they could in camera, um, and you can tell like when it's not when it's yeah. a visual effects and when it's not. But yeah, there's definitely CG girl. Yeah, CG, yeah, Logan, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually I think Barry did a better job. Mm. Of Little Girl. Little Girl. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Barry, the TV show with Bill Hader, if you don't know. Um, a little more comedic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you're still afraid yeah. of this little girl. Yeah. <sighs> I got I got notes, but... I mean, yeah, the performances are really good. Yeah. Like, I'd be curious to see this in black and white. Ooh, like, yeah. to me, a lot of the cinematography is kind of workman. Like, I didn't see a lot of visual interesting things happening in the sure. shots yeah. like it, it's about the characters it's about, and it's like yeah. focusing on them but it's not using some of cinematic tricks in order to like tell those things no. I felt like mm-hmm. um, but I mean that's like I like pretty much everything about it like yeah. I, I've seen this story a lot and it's not my favorite version of this story sure I don't think yeah um and it's weird because you, like there's a lot of stories about parental figure helping child figure mm-hmm. through dangerous territory yeah. to like get to a place. The lone wolf and cub story, right? Yeah, but then you have like a subgenre of like male figure and female child, mm-hmm. which seems to be like the predominant one that gets told. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder why that like is. Like we we talked about Last of Us and Yeah. You know, to a certain Last of Us, Walking Dead. Well, I walk think it's the, road, the, the yeah. dynamic of like, you know, sons, you know, attached to their mothers, mm-hmm. where daughters attached to their fathers. Yeah. You know, the the thing that I think this excels in that genre is that there's a lot of development on who Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is over the course of a bunch of movies. So if you've seen those movies, you yeah. understand why he is. He's not, mm-hmm. you know, someone that's just watching this might be like, man, he's a jerk. But well, it's, pe- very, it's similar to what you get if you play the other God of War games. Yes. And PS4 God of War. 100%, yeah. Because like you see that character's arc, mm-hmm. and you get tastes of it in this yeah. if you haven't seen the other things. But if you know, then it mm-hmm. makes it all the more heartfelt. Yeah. Like seeing him, like, yeah, Xavier is pretty much his father mm-hmm. figure. And yeah. And like, he's having to deal with... Like, Xavier never gave up on him. So he can't give up on Xavier. He's not. He's, he won't allow himself. Yeah. yeah, he wants to. I think he wants to. I think he can't. Like he's seeing his father lose his mind, but he's also seeing the greatest mind yeah. lose their mind. Yeah, like that would have to be extra mm-hmm. difficult, you know. Mm-hmm. And you know Xavier, who dedicated his life to helping these disenfranchised <laughs> people, that you know his people. He was always wanting to inspire others to do the same. I like to think that, you know, if he could see what Wolverine did at the end there, he would have been proud. Yeah. Or what Logan did, I should say. Yeah. <sighs> um, yeah. Um, it's a weird... So you didn't, you didn't know the character of X-23 before this, Laura? X-23. Hmm. There is a, a female Wolverine. Yeah. Is that X-23? Yeah, in the comics, yeah. uh, okay. X-23 is like a teenager. Yeah. James, the, the director of this, wanted to kind of avoid having to hire an actress that they think about, like, okay, so how pretty is she? Will young boys, like, he's like, I don't want to do that. This is about 
the next generation, so he aged the character down a lot more. I think that's a smart choice. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I knew it was X something was that other mm-hmm. female character, but I didn't put it together that it was yeah. this one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I uh, I really love Charles Professor Xavier's, uh, well, because she's a female, you know, she would have the, the claw on the foot. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just, I love that he can't stop. Like, when he's lucid, he can't stop being that guy. Yeah. Uh, Eleven's uh, being, like... Poisoned by the very thing that makes him strong. Yeah. Yeah. Like because of yeah, the gene him. therapy that they've done, like mm-hmm. you just you can't have Adam and Janinia. Like your body's yeah. gonna eat away at that. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Uh, what did you think? And Calvin, you can answer this too. Like now that you've rewatched it, I remember one when I first watched. It, I was like, I love everything. It took me a bit to kind of get behind the idea of X twenty four. It's like it's a clone, you know, like. Clone stories tend to be in, you know, campier tones of a movie, you know? But I feel like this one works because he's fighting what he used to be and he's not anymore. So, but what would you feel about X-24, <laughs> the clone? Um, I mean, there's a lot of times where, like, sometimes you see the back of it and it's fine. But yeah. other times they're doing, like, CG face mm-hmm. and that took me out of that a lot. Sure. Um... I'd also just watched Double Impact recently with Jean-Claude Van Damme. So I had high standards for any sort of... Same person in the same... How do you think anybody's ever said that before? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I would have went with if it would have been, like, a cybernized Sabretooth or something. Uh, In fact... Lee Schreiber, who played Sabretooth and I think, what was it, Origins? Yeah. Uh, they wanted to bring him back. Logan, at, when he was left with nothing, would have went to Sabretooth mm, for help. Sure. And Lee, you know, who doesn't have Adamadium, you know, yeah. would have kind of been a dick. And, mm. you know, that, apparently, I, I think there's other alternate versions where there's no X-24 and it is Sabretooth hmm. that they use. Uh, you know, but obviously the story changed because these kids are pretty much like trash they have to get rid of because they yeah. they have X-23 now. Sure. They don't need to have... The Failed R&D. Done. Yeah, exactly. Is, is what he called it. Yeah, them. so I, I, I like that story of, you know, I'm kind of excited by the idea of like New Mutants. That might be cool to watch, but then the movie that they ended up making and then like delaying 15 times apparently wasn't great. I still haven't watched it, mm. but I don't know if it's related to this group or not. <clears throat> I'm sure. not sure. I haven't seen it. But I don't believe X-23 is in it. This is uh, Hugh Jackman, obviously, saying goodbye to the character. Yeah. Uh, you know, despite... The public outcry. Well, I should say despite, <laughs> like, secretly wanting to be part of the Avengers and, you know, sure, all sure. that stuff. But it's funny, you'd appreciate this. He had a conversation with Jerry Seinfeld, mm. who told him, people love you, they love you, but if you stick around too long, they won't love you. Sure. They'll get annoyed by you. He's like, I... I Got rid of my show when I was at the top. Yeah. Do the same thing with Wolverine. He's like, all right. Yeah. No. Uh, in the wrestling business, they call that X Pac Heat. X Pac Heat. Yeah. Hmm. It's like like X Pac was popular, but he just had the same gimmick for too long. Oh, okay. People turned on him. I got you. Didn't want to see him. Anymore. Yeah. I didn't know what words you were saying yeah. until you defined it. <laughs> <laughs> this is another language, or. <laughs> <laughs> No, I uh, I really like the style of this film. I, I like that it you know it there are points that are very funny you know but sure. it, it's it's dark and it's depressing and it's it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking and as it's a viewer visceral see like I, like I said I've watched this once and the see, Charles dying fucked me up yeah because. It was so shocking. Like I didn't process it at first. Like I thought yeah. it was a dream. I, didn't I, I was it I was wondering. The first time. Yeah, because like what you felt. Well, I was like, well, that looks like CG Logan. Mm-hmm. So like, why is it CG Logan? Is mm-hmm. it he's seeing him as a younger? So is he having a nightmare? Mm-hmm. He stabbed him. Like it. Yeah, it felt like a dream to me. Yeah. I didn't process it at yeah. first. And I don't think you're meant to. Yeah. Like when you first see it's like it's supposed wait, to so be out of full, nowhere. Like yeah. a longer beard and a bald head and like yeah. What happened out there with <laughs> what was his name? Fucking Mr. Mudson, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. did he go to the barber? Oh, that poor family. Yeah, I Yeah. Know. There's so much death in this. Yeah. I mean, the kids make it. That's pretty much it. Well, I mean, that's, you know, Logan says, like, death just surrounds me. Surrounds, surrounds me. me. Right? Bad things happen to people I care about. It's like Crow from Ruby. 
Yeah. Uh, yep. I don't think I would have the last line of my movie be a line from another movie. What was it? It was from, she was reciting Shane. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. True. I get you. Uh, you know, I, I have a list that I was looking up, like James Manigold saying, like, you know, I had uh, a list of like 12 movies I wanted to cast to watch so that we could get in the feeling of it. And one of those was Shane. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's in the script, like, well, you know, I want to make, sh- I want Shane to feel, you know, have a presence in here because I connect what I'm telling with that movie so much. Sure. They had that scene of in the ho- uh, the hotel with Xavier and, and X-23 on the bed. And uh, James Mangold is a very collaborative director. He just kind of, he'll get like everything on the page and then he'll spend just as much time just letting the actors do whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Like just talk, just speak. And that story about uh, Xavier going and seeing Shane as the first movie he ever saw is true that's patrick stewart just talking i uh, know so, yeah i like that scene yeah yeah that's great so i think that they're just trying to kind of book and like that kind of magic they found you know and making that something that laura who we know spoke with xavier even off camera um trying to you know she doesn't really understand the feelings as much as you know an older person was would so it's kind of that explain what you don't know with what you know like she had a feeling that came out with Shane and and here she had a, that same feeling so I, I definitely get you and I would say like yeah maybe don't do that for your last line but for the last line of Wolverine as he's dying the man who his superpower is that he can't die so that's what that feels like I yeah. really like that yeah and, and, and I mean, not, just, and it's not just you know fucking people doing it with you know a Batman scene every time Batman leaves. So that's what it feels like, you know. <laughs> Everyone does that, you know. Stop doing that scene. Yeah, <laughs> but here the line is great. Yeah, just before that, you know, they're you're not what they made you. Oh yeah, it's a great line as well. Yeah, it's just like a you know re- trying to, I don't know, find peace before he goes. <sighs> um. You know, there are some clues. This is a very you know, dark world, but there are some clues about what exactly happened yeah. uh, when it comes to mutants. But, yeah, this this doctor, uh, Rice, they have corn syrup mm-hmm. yeah. that was tainted and pretty much a vaccine was put all over the world. And that's why there's no more mutants. Yeah. You know? And... Maybe one of the reasons why Wolverine is also losing his powers, but it's also the poisoning of the animadium. Yeah. yeah, like I wonder if that's also why Xavier is mm-hmm. the way he is, or was that just natural? Yeah, I mean, interesting. They talked to, about Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's and stuff. Yeah, too. I'm interested to see like the the bourbon or whatever that he was drinking. If the uh, the corn syrup was used, yeah, in the the sugar alcohol corn it's, it's so great to do corn syrup because corn syrup it's in substance everything. is in everything yeah. it's in everything everything, everything. They, they put it in things that don't need it yeah. just this so they can get the substance can't heal <laughs> you know right uh, 20 calories oh shut up <laughs> I just need energy uh, but yes they I mentioned it before they couldn't do the saber tooth stuff because the actor was on Ray Donovan and couldn't schedule it or else he would have been in it I would have enjoyed that Ray Donovan yeah TV show okay I hear it's pretty good my dad watches it yeah yeah but it would have been a cool foil I mean they they kind of have it with X-24 but a cool foil to see like hey because of either mistakes or what's just been happening to the world like you could have just been fine but you're not yeah because Sabretooth's fine (laughs) sure yeah yeah Yeah. I did like the conversation is like like my dad like worked on you in the old like project. Oh. Yeah. I think I might have killed him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you probably did. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. if Sabretooth is just living out in the wilderness, just eating deer, yeah. like he's probably not gonna come across probably any of that yeah. stuff. Mm-mm. Yeah. It does make you think, I wonder who actually of the X Men was what you know, they said seven mutants died, some of them were X Men. I wonder who it was. Yeah. Not that it matters. No, and, I mean it could have been sure. like five X Men, yeah. and Xavier mm-hmm. and Logan there or something, yeah. and a bad guy. 
You yeah. Know? Right. And it and it triggered Xavier to have uh, have a episode. You guys had a reaction, and it's a word that I don't understand. Uh, non. Genuine, oh, damn it! I can't read what I wrote. <laughs> non That would be. Uh, it was whenever the guy came up. Nonagenarian. Yeah. What does that mean? Ninety year old. Ninety something. Really? Yeah. Nonagenarian. So there's octogenarian, which is eighty. Septagenarian, which is seventy. Hexagenarian. Septagenarian. Yeah, What's the root no. word of generarian? Gener like generation. Uh, gen would be like uh, ten. Airy would mm -hmm. be year. Right. Okay. I've truly never heard of that except for in 2017 in a theater when I obviously wasn't paying attention. Have you heard like octogenarian though? No? I don't think really? so. Hmm. That's normally in like because they have like like clubs like they'll walk around the mall or whatever. Yeah. And, and those are like hmm. like the walking okay. the mall walker clubs and stuff. Yeah, there's like an age threshold. Gotcha. That kind of thing. It's like to promote like. Physical activity in your old age and stuff. Yeah. And they just get so, together. Yeah, he lived in the, to his nineties. Yeah, yeah. She's eleven and I'm ninety. <laughs> I do. I love. I mean, I, I hate looking at it, but I love the concept that he is just so dangerous. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, I've I had a great grandma that battled Alzheimer's, and it's the most frustrating th thing is that there's no logic. Like there's no reason. It's just it just is, and it's yeah, it's scary. Yeah, and I mean it's one thing to see a body wither, but it hurts more to see a mind wither. A mind that powerful. Yeah. Hmm. It's a sobering movie for a superhero fun romp. <laughs> <laughs> a good end for the character. A I great think, end you know. for the character. Yeah, I. I I remember loving that what watching it the first time, but obviously being affected. But I think I I liked it way more on rewatch, Did, especially um, with like no see. I know that that's X twenty three when it happens. So yeah, when you know Charles is speaking to him, it's just so heartbreaking. Yeah, spoilers for other Marvel movies. Yeah, but did you think of this when you saw? Yeah, Strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. It, that one. When that happens, when when a thing happens, uh, you're kind of like, oh, oh, well, you know, he was whatever. He was a multiverse thing. It's not a big deal. This felt real. Yeah. You know, this felt like this felt more final. connected to that to that character that we've seen yeah. before. You know, and it has that element of like, <clears throat> look, everything ends, and there's you know, if if you want hope in your ending, you have to kind of look for it. It's like the the kids are gonna off. They're gonna go do something. I'm not saying like they're gonna have a happy life or that things are gonna work out, but there's hope that they will. Yeah. But it's uh it's a definitely a dire outlook on what happened to the X Men and the mutants. Yeah. And especially when you think about why Stan Lee created the X Men in the first place, which was primarily about minorities and and homosexual people. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watching. Um like Xavier deteriorate in this. Have you guys seen uh, Magneto, Sherlock Holmes? Mm -hmm. Where it's like the older Sherlock Holmes who's losing oh, his Oh, uh, Ian McKellen's Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. I haven't seen it, no, but I would love to. Is yeah. that a TV show or a movie? It's a movie. Mm. Yeah, I, I was thinking of that. Do you remember what the name is? It's something Sherlock or Sherlock something. I legit might watch that tonight because yeah. I remember hearing about that being like, that sounds great, and then forgetting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I had flashbacks to that okay. watching... You know, because... Yeah, that would be great. Seeing them pair off in the X-Men movies was always such a treat. Yeah. It, yeah, it definitely was. That open, it's, it's hard to beat that opening scene of X-Men with, with Magneto at the concentration camp. Yeah. It's, it goes hard. Yeah. To be fair, uh, fuck Brian Singer, but he made... He had some cool scenes in his movies. <laughs> but in terms of his, like, extracurricular ac activities, fuck that guy. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, you know, I feel like with uh, it being so self-contained, there's just, you know, everything's kind of presented in the movie. Is this close to the comics? Like you mentioned the old Logan comics. Yeah, Mark Millar did Old Man Logan. Um, it's a, it's an adaptation, but not, not the right. It's kind of its own thing. In fact, this is the only superhero movie to ever get nominated for, uh, Best adaptation or best screenplay by adaptation, I think. Really? Yeah, ever. Wow. So, huh. 
usually it's visual effects, makeup, you know, sure. uh, score maybe, but in terms of like the Academy actually recognizing superhero movies as as literature, as, <laughs> yeah, as art <laughs> in that way, this is this got pretty close. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Um, and you know, I don't know why. Like, I guess in 2017, I just wasn't very aware of Stephen Merchant. Yeah, because I remember that character kind of, but I did not remember it was someone that I know so well. Yeah, uh, for those, I, I guess Stephen Merchant, I think of him with Ricky Gervais all the time, right? Mm -hmm. On their podcasts and stuff. Yeah, Caliban, which is not a mutant I'm familiar with Me either. Me it either. seems to be like a mutant version of Cerebo, which was already kind of a mutant thing, right? Like, didn't sure. Stryker have a son that could track mutants? Yeah. Yeah. Wonder if there's any connection there. I'm not really sure. Hmm. I know that uh, one of the kids, I believe, you know, the guy that, the kid that was hustling that can like shock, uh, they show his paper and he is. I think there's a mutant in one of the Wolverine movies called Bolt, and he's derived from. Bolts, hmm. okay. powers, but makes sense because you didn't like call down lightning like yeah. Storm would, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Yeah. I wonder what would what would you guys think like if they had these kids have more recognizable X Men powers? Would you have liked that, or do you like that it's kind of a little left more open? Like I, where are these powers? I kind of like that it's left a little bit more yeah open and non defined. Yeah. I mean, like, it would have like if Roland were getting was those, shooting laser eyes. And yeah. Like, oh, so he's a new Cyclops. Like, it'd be a little corny, maybe. But I, I kind of like it. Maybe. Too. I don't know. Like, it's poetic and heartbreaking that these heroes were being turned into weapons. Weapons. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, yeah. like, and maybe some mutants that we didn't even meet, mm -hmm. you know, were already being abused and yep. and used by this. Mm -hmm. And oh, like. I don't know at the point of when they died because Logan is in and out with the X Men and different members mm -hmm. of the X Men. But like, if he had seen their children here, like how that would have affected how that him. would have affected him could have been interesting. Mm -hmm. Kids that need help. Yeah. Yeah. And now I assume, like, they could spread their X genes to future yeah. generations. I mean, I think that's supposed to be the idea: the new mutants. Sure. Right, like, which is a comic book and as long as they don't have then, like corn syrup, yeah. right? Sure, because that would. Oh, well, they're in Canada. Like, <laughs> sure, American subsidies don't reach here. Yeah, yeah like let, I wonder if it was just like a few batches sent out to make sure that everyone was like mm -hmm. X sterilized. Yeah, the far and they discontinued it. Says like it tastes like shit. Yeah. So I don't know if that's because it still, it yeah. still contains it or well, it must. Yeah, I suppose so. Because they're also the, genetically different too, right? Yeah. Like they might not be affected by it like a natural mutant might be. Yeah, because like the human race got to the point to have the the X yeah. mutation. True. So hmm. to continue that from happening, yeah, like well, they I'm, would continue to have to administer that. I'm sure stuff, he wouldn't right? have wanted his creations to accidentally get it either yeah. like if the plan was to put yeah. them out there like he might have stopped right. production on yeah maybe the other stuff i don't know yeah all right well i mean like to your point rick like in terms of cinematography like i i think there are fantastic shots but there's nothing in there that makes me feel like i don't know like there's no like road trip <laughs> no <laughs> like, yeah. feeling to it there's the, there's music in it but the music is very understated and it it all just Everything is made to have you look through it through Logan's old eyes, right? Like the color palette, the music, the even the characters. Like you get a lot of rage in these characters that you yeah. don't usually see, right? You don't see Charles Xavier going around in his wheelchair being like, fuck! <laughs> you know? Well, it just never happens. Yeah, but like he's always in, so dignified. Yeah, but before. in Logan's movie, the visual language is how does Logan understand the world? Rage, you know? And unfairness and, and tragedy and not knowing where you come from or where you're going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bleak, tough watch. Not something I want to watch all the time, but no. I'll probably watch it again someday. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. I'm glad that I, you know, I was, we're still, all of us still getting over, you know, COVID symptoms and fatigue and my brain's a little mushy. And when we came today, I wasn't feeling the best this morning, but I got better before we started. 
but I kept thinking like I just don't know if I want to do it right now. I don't think I'm ready. But and you and know it's been what? Five years. <laughs> there was a couple. There was two scenes in there where I don't think I don't think I was ready. No. Like my, again, my face was the same color as back here, and I was like, Why did I choose these colors? It, <laughs> it's weird. It's a poster. Yeah, it's good. But like for me, when I'm feeling really bad, like this or Berserk or something darker, makes me feel better because hmm. it's like, well, I don't feel that bad. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for checking out Logan with us. If you enjoyed this reaction, please let us know. Hit the like button. Uh, what other movies that uh, have this kind of bleak nature do you think that you would like us to check out? I'm open to all of them, and I'm open to being that color again. <sighs> Subscribe.